One of the pillars of the Phoenix Protocol is using Physidin before you dry fast to remove senescent cells, which is good advice because removing senescent cells takes the burden off of the immune system to do it during your dry fast. But Physidin also affects age and how long you can stay alive because it removes senescent cells. But what is aging? We now know that aging is the result of the ever accumulating amount of senescent cells. The visual effects of aging is the expression of this accumulation of methylation tags left after DNA repair that silences more and more of the library of skin protein codes to stay youthful looking. The rate of senescent cell accumulation is not linear, it's geometric, and it accelerates with age. Because all the methyl tags left after damage are passed on at each cell division, and they build up over time. Add to that, telomeres are lost each division, and the next generation of cells have more tags as telomeres are lost, leading ultimately to senescence. And that's why old people look old. Age damage accumulates. This is the ticking countdown clock of aging that will ultimately lead to the end. Without dry fasting to turn on aggressive autophagy and stem cell regeneration, there really is no other outcome. When we're young, we have a very active immune system that removes senescent cells. Killer T cells find these bad actors and engulf them, kill them and dissolve them, and phagocytes come in and dissolve their parts. But as we age, the immune system has to deal with more and more of these bad actors, and it gets harder and harder to get rid of senescent cells. It becomes overwhelmed. Then senescent cells are free to modify surrounding cells with their chemical signals, creating even more senescent cells. Taking Physidin prior to dry fasting removes these bad actors, and is critical for attaining the goals of the Phoenix Protocol, functional immortality. But that's not all. Not by a long shot. Physidin was first recognized because it lengthened lifespan and was the most effective senolytic at removing senescent cells and dialing back their pro-inflammatory cytokines compared to the top 10 other senolytics. The remarkable thing about Physidin is that it's both a senolytic, it gets rid of senescent cells, and a senomorph. It can actually repair senescent cells that are not too badly damaged and return them to functionality. Physitin is able to achieve this because its molecular configuration is capable of docking with amino acids and genetics and enzymes in cells to activate or silence their function. This is especially important in tumor cells. Physitin is the strongest cytolytic and works in a wide range of metabolic pathways. It can reduce methylation levels in cell genetics by inhibiting the gene TET1 that places epigenetic methyl markers, thereby reducing the methyl tags left on the cytosine amino acid. This stops cell cancer division, proliferation, invasion, tumorogenesis, and angiogenesis. Physitin stops tumors from growing. Physitin also upregulates BUBR1 gene, which is important for proper chromosome separation during cell division. Physitin perturbs spindle checkpoint signaling, which may contribute to the antiproliferative effects of the compound. It safely and effectively slows and stops tumor growth in a lot of different types of cancers found in a wide spectrum of tissues. This is because physidin affects the P16INK4A gene cell cycle inhibitor and the malfunctioning mitochondria that are not able to turn on apoptosis so that the cell never dies, a hallmark of senescence, which is also why they're called zombie cells. Because physidin can both activate mitochondria found in all cells to initiate apoptosis in damaged cells, physidin can address the big problems affecting lifespan without chemotherapy or radiation. It repairs pancreatic cancer cells at high doses and at high doses reduces cell viability down to half and lower in 48 hours, down 80% in 72 hours. It reduces cell growth in psoriasis cells by 85 to 90% rapidly in a dose-dependent therapy safely because physidin is not harmful at high doses. It inhibits melanoma in the same way by interrupting a wide range of cell proliferation signals to stop various types of melanoma in 16 days, as seen on the right in the tissue comparison results. It inhibits breast cancer in this way, reducing cell cancer viability by 60% in 48 hours, in vitro and in vivo. It inhibits cellular proliferation in gastric cancer and induces mitochondria apoptosis and reduces the number of tumor cells by 75% in 72 hours, while increasing the number of dead cancer cells by 76% in 48 hours to reduce tumor size, allowing the body to restore health. It inhibits proliferation of oral squamous cancer cells and induces mitochondria-initiated apoptosis dramatically and rapidly, reducing the beta-actin signal for proliferation by 90%. Cervical, colorectal, lung, and prostate all fall to the power of physitin. And because it passes the blood-brain barrier, it acts on brain cells to enhance learning and memory, decrease neuronal cell death, and suppresses oxidative stress to relieve Alzheimer's. 
Oxidative stress exhibits a central role in the course of amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, ALS, Lou Gehrig's disease, a progressive neurodegenerative disease. Fizzidin attenuates motor impairment, reduces oxidative damage, and regulates redox homeostasis while scavenging mutant superoxide dismutase, providing neuroprotection and improving survival rate. Parkinson's disease is characterized by excessive deposition of neuritic plaques known as Lewy bodies, of which alpha-synuclein is the major contributor to neuronal death. Fizzidin is capable of attenuating alpha-synuclein levels and promoting neuroprotecting effects to reverse Parkinson's by reducing inflammation, preventing glutathione loss preventing protein aggregation, and mitochondrial dysfunction. All these miraculous results show that Fizzitin is well indicated for maintaining health as well as preventing and reversing mutagenic outcomes. Fizzitin 500 from Cytolife is a therapeutic dose in a single capsule. It's been milled to a smaller particle size to assure its bioavailability is enhanced. It's only pure Fizzitin, and it's manufactured without fillers or excipients. Fizzidin has been shown to be safe for either short or long-term use even when given at high dosages with no adverse side effects. The Phoenix Protocol dry fasting method is a remarkable way to activate senescent cell removal, but one thing is certain, whether you dry fast or not, your body is constantly making senescent cells and they make you age faster. Therefore, taking Fizzidin daily to remove senescent cells just makes good sense.